Oh, hey, over here. Uh, yeah, take a seat. I'm so glad you're able to make it. Uh, don't worry, I haven't been waiting long. They're only a few minutes late, and anyway, I would easily be willing to wait hours and hours if I meant I got to look forward to a romantic dinner date with you. Uh, seriously, I'm sure there's many girls or guys out there that would kill for this opportunity. I know I would. Anyway, what do you think of this place's atmosphere? It's pretty good, right? It's a bit dimly lit, and they even have candles everywhere. They've got the roses as decorations. I think they've got really good taste. And, um, I, 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 I think the candles are actually scented too, actually. It's a pretty subtle and it's not too overpowering. That's attention to detail right there. Do you like the smell? Oh, you do, don't you? Well, maybe I'll wear a scent like this. I'll ask the owner what the scent's called, and I'll see if there's a perfume like it. It's not a problem, really, because they're relative, actually. I think they're my uncle. Oh, I, I, I promise I didn't choose this place out of nepotism, though. The food is great. I personally tried it, and I can vouch for it. No matter what you order, you'll love it. I guarantee you. All the reviews are great, and almost all of them are five stars and none of them are fake. And they're not violating any health codes either. And you know, and there's no rats or cockroaches in the back or anything like that at all. I should know. I've made sure of that. Um, it's all 100% clean and proper and healthy. It has to be if you're gonna be eating here. You would not believe how many restaurants aren't nearly as sanitary as you think. And you can't be happy you eat at a restaurant like that because you deserve proper care. I can't guarantee you with proper care at any other place and I really doubt they'd give it to you if I left it up to them. Others don't care enough about that. Uh, that's because I'm the only one who cares about you. I'm the only one who truly loves you. I'm the only one who will protect you and keep you safe and give you love and attention and make you feel special. No one loves you like I do. No one, no one, no one. Oh, sorry. And did I sound out a bit there? Sorry, I'm a bit of an airhead. <laughs> I hope I didn't worry you or anything. Alright, you'd expect more people to be here. I mean, this place is pretty famous. Fancy food reviewers come here all the time, but it looks like it's just us here. Imagine that, hmm. Oh well, I guess that just means the two of us won't be disturbed. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Don't worry about the price. I knew as soon as you opened up the menu, it must have been in for a shock. I mean, look at these prices. You'd think we'd be eating with golden utensils with prices like these. But don't worry about the price. No matter how expensive it is, I'll pay for it. I don't want you to have to worry about money tonight. I just want you to enjoy the food, and the atmosphere, and hopefully, enjoy my company. <clears throat> so, do you have any idea what you want to order? Do you want to order just one big thing and split it? And you know, we could, we could split the soft shell crab, um, the harumaki, a life together, or maybe the kobe beef. Hmm? No, I didn't see anything about a life. Oh, how about we 
just get the love boat for two? Oh, what do you think? Wouldn't that be so romantic? I mean, <laughs> it's got love right in the name, and I definitely did make that. Uh, uh huh? You don't want it? Oh, what do you mean you don't want to get the love bug for two? Don't you love me? I've done everything for you. I threaten all your neighbors to paint your house as your favorite color. We are meant to be together. Um. Oh, sorry. I was just sounding out again. Like I said, I'm a bit of an airhead, you know. Maybe we should get the Yaka done. You know, it literally translates to parent and child. These are the chicken and egg. So it's kind of like the parent chicken and its child are both in the pool together. They're just kind of messed up. Now that I think about it, like, you're eating the child. Anyway, I think we should have a child. I mean the child. You know, a Yakuton. Ooh, would you look at that? And we also have cone sushi. Oh, you could get that. They take like these deep fried thin slices of tofu and they use it to make a cone. A sort of like an ice cream cone. And then they put all these other ingredients inside of it. This kind of sushi was started by this one family in Hawaii. It was a huge family, if I remember correctly. The couple had like a million kids. Anyway, I think it's a great idea. The kon sushi is nice too. Yeah, sure. I could go for that. I will split then. How about drinks though? Do you want water? Or are you in the mood for something else? Do you even want a drink? Are you thirsty? Because I'm certainly thirsty. I was thinking of getting the sake. Actually, but maybe I shouldn't be having alcohol. I am driving home after all. And besides, I'm already drunk enough on you. Huh? Oh no no no! I said, besides, I already drank enough for two! You know, like I had enough alcohol for two people. Maybe I shouldn't be driving. Actually, maybe you should take me home. To my home. I mean, as in drive me to my home, because I sh certainly shouldn't be driving. Not like this. Or maybe we can go to your home. Nothing, nothing. But, um, I suppose it was a while since I had those drinks. So there's probably not any alcohol in my system now. I think I'm good enough to drive now that I think about it. Which means I can be the designated driver if you want. So it's fair game for you to have a few drinks and I can take you home. N no? You're not getting any alcohol? Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. I'm not disappointed or anything, no. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, are we ready to order? Are you in the mood for any side dishes? I hope not, because you better not have anyone on the side. I mean, you better not have anything on the side, because we've... Um, we've already ordered so much food. <laughs> you know, we should have some moderation. How much can two people even eat? I think we should just order as it is. Hello, how are we doing this fine evening? My name is James, and I'll be your waiter tonight. Excuse me, oh waiter, oh, what do you think you're doing? I'm... I'm sorry? I said, oh, what do you think you're doing? You come up here to give my date those stupid puppy dog eyes and you have the audacity to get all innocent? Do you flirt with every man you see? And you're on the job too. Why are you even here? The owner specifically assured me there wouldn't be any flirting in the server today. We signed a contract. I even got a copy on me. So why the hell are you here? I'll, um, <clears throat> go talk to the boss. 
Yeah, yeah, you go do that. Talk to your boss and don't bother coming back. And make sure to tell her to send me a waiter who won't hit on my date this time. <sighs> I'm so sorry you had to see that. Some people just don't have any common sense. Who hits on the guy while he's with his date, huh? I can't believe it. He lacks such a basic common etiquette. I hate it. It drives me up the wall. I can't stand it. But we shouldn't let that get us down. Our date night doesn't have to be ruined. Let's just enjoy our night and do dinner date things. We can still have fun. We can ask each other questions. Things like favorite colors, favorite movies, do you lock all your windows, do you lock your back door, that sort of thing. Okay, okay, um, um, you go first. Oh wait, no, I'll go first. There's so much I want to ask you. Where should I begin? Um, how do you feel about a rope? Do you like a small wedding or a large one? Um, oh, do you have a criminal record? Oh, wow, really? You don't? Just me? <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke because I never got caught. <laughs> and that was another joke because I don't commit crimes sometimes. Sorry, maybe my sense of humor is a bit weird. It's definitely an acquired taste. Hi, <laughs> you don't seem very amused. So, what sort of music do you listen to? Personally, I only listen to you. The, the band. I mean, the band. <laughs> it's a band. Um, the name of the band is called You. I'm not saying I listen to you as in I listen to recordings of your footsteps. That would be weird. It, it would be weird, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I knew that. I was just checking. So, what sort of music do you listen to? Oh, okay, alright, cool. That's some very solid taste you got there. So, just out of curiosity, do you have a home security system? You know, like cameras, alarms, that sort of thing? I was just wondering because I care about you and I was wondering if you were safe as all. I don't know what I'd do if I saw the news that someone broke into your house. I mean, what if they hurt you, or steal your briefs, or your panties, or whatever? And that's why I think you should have a home security system, even if it thinks, um, even if it makes things a bit more difficult for me to, to, to difficult for me to worry about your safety, because you'd be so safe. <laughs> oh damn, it's kind of hot in here. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm. Personally sweating buckets. Excuse me for a moment. I think I'll go to the restroom and I'll wash up just a little bit. Um, don't talk to the waitress if they come back, okay? Hey, you filthy degenerates. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed today's audio. If you like what you heard, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you want to hear more and be sure to tell your friends about my channel. Special shout out to this month's sole patron, Epic Waffles. Seriously, what a chad. If you want to support me and get a special shout out of your own, along with sneak peeks, original scripts, and bloopers, feel free to check out my Patreon down in the description box. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget I love you, I'm proud of you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!